Today we're going to make some crab patties. Here I have a medium sized onion that I'm gonna cut up and we're going to put it in the chopper, the Vidalia chopper, wizard, chop wizard. You just put the, uh, the onion in place. I kind of push it down a little bit to hold it in place and then I just take it and push it down. And it chops all your onions for you. Nice. So we have one medium sized onion. Chop. And then I have my garlic. A couple tablespoons of garlic. We're gonna chop that. Maybe about a tablespoon and a half. And then I have some yellow bell pepper that I had in the freezer. About a quarter of a bell pepper. A quarter of a nice sized bell pepper. If you put your bell pepper in the freezer, it's easier to chop when it's frozen. When it defrosts, it kind of gets a little mushy. You always put the skin side up. That way it can push against the prongs on the chopper. Let's see, we have about a cup and a half of onion, bell pepper, and garlic. In our skillet, we're going to put three tablespoons of butter and turn on our fire and melt our butter. Okay, now that our butter is melted, we're gonna add our vegetables we just chopped up. You want to make sure that your vegetables are cooked all the way through. Okay, our bell peppers, onion, and garlic has been cooking about seven and a half minutes. And they look like they're cooked, so I'm gonna turn the fire off. And I'm gonna add to the bell peppers and onion one pound of cream cheese. I buy it in the big blocks, so I'm gonna cut off a pound and add it to my onions and bell peppers. Okay, here's my pound of Philadelphia cream cheese. I'm going to cut it in pieces and add it to my bell peppers and onions. Okay, now we're gonna mix our cream cheese in. Your pan, your skillet is still warm, so it'll kind of help melt to the cream cheese. And if you want to take it out the refrigerator in advance, you can do that also. That helps. 
But if you don't, you can always turn the fire on a little bit and that will hurry it along. I just turned the fire on for a, about a couple minutes just to heat the pan up. And the cream cheese is melting well. I turned the fire off. Make sure you get it good and mixed up. Okay, I'm going to add one teaspoon of Conrico Creole seasoning. One teaspoon of Conrico seasoning. You can use salt and pepper or whatever kind of seasoning. Some people use seasonal or Tony Sachery's. We like the Conrico. We want to mix it real good, make sure our seasoning gets all over our cream cheese. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of Tabasco also. that in well. Okay, now I'm going to add one pound of crab meat. This is the claw crab meat. You can use the white if you like. It doesn't really matter. I mean, if you prefer the white crab meat, we like the claw or the white. So we're going to mix the crab meat in with the cream cheese. You wanna drain your crab meat to make sure there's no excess fluids, no excess water. Pretty much everything in the pan is cooked. The crab meat is already cooked. The cream cheese, you can eat it like it is. We cooked the vegetables. So we're gonna taste it to make sure that we have it seasoned good enough when we finish mixing it together. You want to make sure it has enough salt and pepper. And I think it's good like it is. Okay, now that we have our crab cake mixture all mixed up, I'm going to separate it in our pan. You're supposed to do it in like four ounces. I've done it with where I've made like little appetizer balls. Where I've probably made, I don't know, 25 or so. But it's, I think it's 12 servings is what it's supposed to be. We're gonna put it on our pan and then we're gonna put it in the refrigerator so it can firm up and then we're gonna make our patties. I just kind of estimate. I 
And they don't have to be perfect going in the refrigerator because when they come out, they'll be firm and you'll be able to shape them the way you like. Okay, we have three, six, nine, twelve. Now that we have them all done, I'm gonna refrigerate them for about three hours. Okay, now that our crab patties are in the refrigerator cooling, while we wait, we're gonna make a sauce to pour over our crab patties. I'm gonna put one half cup of heavy whipping cream in our medium sized saucepan, or actually it's a small. And I'm gonna add a half a cup of half and half. So that's a total one cup of milk, just half a cup of heavy whipping cream and a half a cup of half and half. We're gonna put our fire on low. In our cream, we're gonna add a quarter of a teaspoon of some seasonings. This is a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder. One quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika. Of basil leaves. One quarter of a teaspoon of parsley flakes. cream is heating up so we want it to stir it a little bit I'm gonna add a quarter of a teaspoon of Conrico seasoning and I'm gonna add a quarter of a teaspoon of chives and a quarter teaspoon of rosemary. Okay, we're gonna add a quarter of a teaspoon of Tabasco garlic sauce. We want to reduce this down to a sauce to put over our crab cakes or crab patties. Okay, I'm also going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Right. 
first taste of it. I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, now we're gonna set it aside and get ready to make our crab cakes. We're gonna get ready to coat our crab cakes. So in the bowl, we're gonna crack two eggs and this will be our egg wash. We're making an egg wash to dip the crab cakes in. I'm gonna add a half a cup of half and half to our eggs. And a half a cup of water. We're gonna mix it up with a fork. dash of salt in our pan we're going to put three cups of breadcrumbs you can use the plain or the season these are the plain was a 15 ounce container so it almost took it all now in our other pan we're gonna put one cup of flour and another cup a total of two cups of flour okay here is our crab cakes and they should be firm and they are firm you, you can handle them so I'm gonna take them and shake them in a ball. You don't wanna handle them too long because then they'll start defrosting. We're gonna take our crab cake, we're gonna roll it in our flour. Then we're gonna roll it in our egg wash. And then we're gonna put it in our breadcrumbs. And we're gonna do them all like this. You take them and you shape them into a crab cake, whichever shape you like. We're gonna put it in our flour. Through our egg wash. And then our breadcrumbs. You're gonna make sure they're coated good.
Okay, here are the crab patties. We have all 12 of them coated. Now we're gonna get our grease and our pan ready to fry them. Okay, I have a black arm skillet, not a real big one. I'm gonna add oil. About a third of the way up. You need to leave room for your crab patties so you don't want to overfill. I'm going to turn my fire on and heat it up. While we're waiting for the grease to heat up and preparing to fry them, I'll put my crab patties back in the refrigerator so they could stay hard. The way I usually tell if my oil is hot enough, I'll drop a little bit of the breadcrumbs in to see if they start frying. And it's not hot enough yet. We have our pan of crab patties ready to go in the oil. Almost ready. On the side, I have a pan to put the crab patties in. It has paper towels on the bottom to absorb the oil, excess oil. Okay, I think my oil is ready. So we're gonna take our crab patties and we're gonna put them in our pan. You want them to be golden brown. Check the bottoms. Oh yeah. I'm gonna cook this for a little bit longer. I'm gonna flip them over. Okay, it's gonna take two different tools to flip them over. You don't wanna splash oil everywhere Cook them two to three minutes on both sides. You want to make sure the inside's heated up good enough. Now we're going to take them out and drain them on our paper towels.
Okay, here are our crab patties. They're all done. I have two in our plate. Heat up our sauce to put over our crab patties. I didn't make that much. For those who want it, can have it. Those who don't want it, I mean, they don't have to have any. Okay, these are our two crab patties, and I put the sauce on them, and they are ready to eat. So let's get a fork and try them. Okay, after lunch, this is what we have left of the crab cakes. We had made 12, so we, we've eaten eight of them. And you don't have to fry them all at one time if you don't want. You can put them in the freezer, and then when you're ready to fry, if you fry shrimp or anything else and you wanted to fry some crab cakes, or even if you just wanted to fry crab cakes, you take them out, you let them defrost, and you fry them the same way. So you don't have to cook the whole pound at one time if you don't want. Or if you do want, you can, like we did for lunch. And we'll have leftovers another day. They were yummy. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. God bless.